Currently we're cruising through Tasman, beautiful day, we're on a mission. We're heading to the Wakefield homestead. And this little dog hiding its head, that's Tilly. You gonna show your face, Tilly, hey? You gonna hide under there? Tilly's job is to be a comfort dog. Come on, mate, pokey, there we go. There we go. And her job is to comfort all the residents at the homestead. Margaret's the RN at the homestead, and today is just a typical day, taking Tilly out and doing her duties, and you, you'll be doing your duties, won't you? Hey, that's right. Open the door, Clay. Do not let her jump out. She's got to wait. Okay. She's the last one to get out of the car when we're ready. I like that rule. Wait. 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 He's doing good so far. Wait. Have you got your gear? Okay. Good girl. Oh, she's just gone through the cat hole. Yeah. Humans first. Yep. <laughs> Where's that dog gone? Oh, there's another little dog. Yeah. What's your name, mate? Me? Morning. Who's her friend? Freesia. That's Freesia. G'day, mate. Okay. <laughs> Calm down. Come on. It's supposed to be comforting gear, it's not playing with another dog. About the same size. Oh, she's gone out the cat, cat door. Tilly, oh, this guy opens the door. Hold on, there's a cat coming. Come on. Get up. Come on. Come on. Did he come? That was close. Did he come? That was lucky. He's meeting a guest. been going around all the rooms of the people living here and I'm trying to keep up with them, I can't. What are you doing in here, Tilly? Hey? What are you doing here? Come on. Do you like her juicy? Yeah. That, yes. That was knitted by Hillary. Yeah. Yeah. She made, she's making a hat today too. Is she? What are you making? Me? I'm I've never used this wool before and I don't know whether I like it or not. Yeah, that yeah, looks good. Yeah, well you see the green? Yeah, that'd be difficult, eh? Yeah, it is difficult. Yeah. Good job. Is she going now, Fraser? Is she? Yes, she's going now. Yeah. See ya. That's a nice chamois, mate. How big is that? That's a beauty. Pretty big. Yeah. Yeah. Did you measure it? Yep. Can you remember how big it was? Yeah. Yeah. How big is it, mate? Um, it was. Really it's got. It's got to be over nine, doesn't it? It's got to be. Yeah. It's eat well over nine. Yeah. It's a cracker. Where'd you shoot that? Just over, over there. Yeah. Over there. Okay. Nice look at here. Yeah, it's, it's really good. It's a beauty, isn't it? Yeah. Do you remember where you shot it? Yeah. Yeah. Just the absolute there. Okay. A nice gun. Yeah. yeah. Oh, thanks, Charles. Appreciate it. Cheers. Good to meet you too. Yeah. It's always good to meet another hunter. I do a lot of pig hunting. Oh, okay. You done any pig hunting at all? Yeah. Yeah. Have you? Yeah. With dogs or with rifle? Uh, rifle. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Cool. Yeah. Oh, thanks for sharing. Yeah, Probably. nice heads. I don't have any chamois. I've filmed them, but I've never shot them. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yep. Awesome. Well, thanks for your time. Appreciate it. No problem. What's Tilly up to in here? Come on. What's she doing? Hey, what are you doing, Tilly? Are you stealing food? Hey, come on, here you come, mate. Tilly, come. Did she steal your food? No, she didn't. Oh, she didn't. Tilly, come. Come on. 
There's also a resident cat here as well. I wanted to meet you, Sid, because I heard that you climbed Mount Everest. How was it with the low oxygen? I don't think we worried about oxygen. <laughs> oh. Well, you don't when you're near, near craft either. No, you don't. That's true. Yeah, yeah, that's true. But still, it's take off up. It's, uh... But it's a bit different aircraft. In aircraft, you're nice and, nice and warm. When you're climbing up Mount Everest, it's bloody freezing. You've got the wind howling, and you're using your body, so your bo your muscles need the oxygen. So it's a pretty hard feat. But, yeah. It didn't didn't strike me as being excessively strenuous. Is that right, really? Yeah. Well I done. Think it's, I think it's done quite regularly, and there's a. There's, yeah. A track up that's no problem at all. Wow. Okay. I suppose some people with breathing difficulties might yeah. have a problem. But Clearly you didn't have any. I didn't have yeah. any. Yeah. Well, hey, good to meet you, man. And, and well done, put it there. I'm, I'm impressed. It's really, really good to meet you. Well, I'm pleased that, that I've made somebody so relatively happy. Who's this guy, Brendan? Jess. Jess. Yes. Is she also like a resident dog here? Oh, yes, he hangs up here nearly every day. It's cool, eh, having dogs in the home. It really is, makes it uh, a lot more fun for everybody. Good girl. See ya. Oh, yeah. It's all going on in the kitchen. Mmm. Hayley is the main chef here, is that right, Hayley? Yeah. Do all the stuff. It's good to tuck it, too. All oh, that chicken looks good. How many people are you cooking to today? Is it about 20, is it? Uh, just over because we do the meals on wheels as well. Oh, right, so true. About 30. Okay. Yeah. Do you ever like when you're doing this food and smelling all the time, does it ever like make you hungry and you just want to eat it while you're cooking? I do eat while I'm cooking. <laughs> <laughs> right, yeah, I can imagine that. Damn, that smells good. Mm. Hey, by the way, thanks for those pickles you made me, they were delicious. Oh, you're welcome. Still chomping on them. Let's make some more. There you go, what you up to, mate? You've been eating all the cat food around the place, have you? Yeah. Oh, now she's out through the cat door again. Yep, she's off. She's going for a drive, is she? She is. Oh, God, jeez. Oh, for heaven's sake, you sneak out there. Going for a ride. Yep, anybody for a ride? <laughs> Good, thank you. Yeah. Damn, that dog has a good life. That dog has a good life. Man, that looks like fun. <laughs> that looks like fun. Yeah. Since you, since you was a pup, she loves this. Really? Yeah. You've been taken for a ride since you was a pup, yeah? Yeah. I had her in the um, basket that on there. She sat there. Oh, yeah? Looks pretty comfortable, doesn't she? She knows who you are. Oh, she. I spoil her. She's a lovely dog, isn't she? Yeah. She's just a beautiful dog. Yeah. Say hey, cheese. Good kill. That's a good dog. Of the 20 residents, there's this stuff coming every day. Tucker, mostly. The homestead here in Wakefield's quite dear to my heart. I came here three and a half years ago. They've got a convalescing unit. So if you come out of hospital after surgery, they look after you. And when I came here, this place was like heaven for someone like me that was really, really crook. I was actually in this room right here. Now Doreen's in that room. And the food, not just the food, the people, everything was just so good as far as a place for me to be to, to heal up. And if you had someone elderly, like a mother or a father, you're looking for a place for them to stay. You couldn't do better than this place here. It's just not like those big organisations, those homes. It's really, really personable and they really, really care about each other. And there's a lot of freedom too. That's something we don't really think about that's going to happen to us one day. We're going to get old and not be able to look after ourselves, but it does happen. For all the nature, we're going to get sick and die at some stage. And the time leading up to that should be a time where we've got some comfort and some care. And this is probably as good as it gets, really. It's family run, and they all people that just care. And I know them personally, they all do it not for the money, because they don't make any money. They, they run at a very, very fine budget. It's because they have to pay the same bills as all the big homes, but they don't have the income coming in. 
They've only got 20 odd residents, so it really is a very special place. And you can tell by the feeling in here. It's colourful, it's warm, and when my time comes when I can't no longer get up the hill and do all the things I love and I'm stuff, this is where I'd like to sort of come to and end up. Nice shot. Yeah. Oh, was it? Oh. I shot the mark. <laughs> I've lost Tully. Generally, if you can't find her, it's follow the cat food, and that's where she'll be. Oh, there you go. You're in there. Hey, eh? is there some cat food in here? Is there? No. Is there any cat food in here? Is that why she's in here? Biscuit. Oh, she, oh, did she get a biscuit off there? Did she? I see you're chomping on a biscuit. Oh, she's been into these bickies here. Okay. Is that what you're doing, mate, eh? Mm. You're coming here getting fat, are you? Yeah, look at you, you're fading away to an elephant. A fat little dog. Yes, you are. What you doing under there, eh? What you doing, mate? Hey? You've been into the bickies, eh? Yeah. Oh, I see, they've got cat biscuits over there. I thought she'd be in here. She's hiding under my leg because she knows you're not supposed to get in the biscuits. And she's like, no, it wasn't me, boss. What you doing down there, Tilly, eh? I'll take she it away. Knows. She knows. She knows where they are. Yeah, she sure does. That's why she gets fat, don't you, eh? Good girl. Ah, oh, you got the biscuits up there. That's what you're trying to get to. Ah, oh, right. Well, she can if she tried. She tried to get up there, did she? Yeah, she's a little food dog. You're like a little Labrador, aren't you, mate? Margaret's yeah. lost Tully again. Excuse me. Oh, there she goes. It's lunch time for the residents and it's time for Tilly to go home, isn't it Tilly? You've done your work this morning, hey? You sure? Ready to go home? Yeah, Tilly, wait. Tilly, come. We've lost her, she can smell food. Tilly, come. Oh, there goes the serviettes. Tilly, come. Thank you. Final pee for the road. You and me, mate. Hey guys, that's my uh, video today. Oh, it's good to get this thing off. Whew. I hope you enjoyed it, and uh, I want to thank Tilly. I want to thank Margaret too for taking me to the home. Shout out everybody. Oh, I thoroughly enjoyed that. It was cool. Really neat to see. It's a lovely feeling in there. That's nice home, it's an awesome home. I hope you enjoyed it. And this is a different sort of video to what I normally make, but I've been scratching my head lately for other types of content and I thought well I'll do something that's community something that you might enjoy I hope you did comment below and let me know if I should make more of these sorts of videos the last time I did Christmas at the home the video crashed nobody watched it I can understand that but just for an idea let me know and uh, be good can't be good be careful I'll see you in the next video see you later